So in order to follow ABBA, we need to make some changes. So the first thing is to select all of your text. Make sure that you have your units set to uh, inches here. So instead of centimeters, make sure your ruler up here uh, appears in inches. And if for some reason you don't see your ruler, uh, you should be able to go under Vista and click uh, Regla. Okay, so the first thing we'll want to do is select all of your text and move this top slide bar over half an inch, just the top one. You want to leave the, the bottom ones as, as they are. Again, I would select all of your text and add double spacing. Go to the end of your document. And you can eliminate any extraneous information. So for example, if you have any feedback at the end, you can delete that. Or if you want to keep it, you can copy and paste it into another document. Uh, the references section, you can click control enter and that will automatically insert a page break. We want to select all of our references in this case and take out the bullet point. So there should be no bullet points. And bring this over to the left. In fact, we can do that by sliding these bars over. And then for, in fact, for the references, all right, the tab should be like it appears here. So you've got the top slide bar all the way to the left, and then the bottom slide bar I have a half an inch over. And for your references, this is different than the rest of your document, we're going to single space, and then make sure that there's a double space between each reference. So it's single space within each reference, it's double space between each reference, just as it appears here in this document. Make sure each appendix has a new page break. So you can just go in and insert those page breaks. Now something very, um, very important here is when you look at your level one heading, as in the case of appendix A, make sure that all of the slide bars are all the way to the left. So you'll notice how that shifts over a little bit. So you will have to manually go and do this if at the beginning you selected your entire text and included a half an inch indention for your entire text. But I think this is easier than uh, going through and doing this per paragraph. Your level ones and level two headings you're going to have to move over to the left. Okay, again, just as I'm doing here. Uh, you can take out, for example, any type of reference to Word counts, you can take those out. Make sure that your entire text has just one font, and that is Times New Roman font size 12. So in that, for instance here, this, uh, we're going to have to make another global change with regard to the text. So again, we can click Control E and click Times New Roman, font size 12, and that's it. And you're assured that all of your text has the exact same uh, text. So again, uh, go through and check all of your headings to make sure that they are positioned as they should be. And we're also going to have to do one other thing. You'll notice here how there, there's more space between these paragraphs than there are between the lines within each paragraph. So to change that, we hit Control E, select all of your text, and click this arrow here right next to Paragraph, and select this box. Okay, this, this box is basically eliminating extra space between each paragraph. And that did it. So you'll notice now how it brought in uh, these two paragraphs, same way with the headings. Now, you may have to go through and eliminate some of the added space, just as I've done here. 
So it's just a matter of going through and checking each paragraph and each line and making sure that, uh, that everything is uh, as it should be. So again, just go through and clean it up. You should check your margins as well, although um, by default it should be under normal. Okay, but just uh, double check that. It's an easy way to check it and it's very simple if you do need to, to change it. But you should have uh, one inch margins all the way around your document. All right, so uh, page breaks. Now the first page, your title page, should uh, be on a separate page. So your abstract, we'll do a page break here and we'll do another page break after the abstract that uh, begins your introduction. So we've got your title page. We have your abstract on a separate page. And a note here, there's been a change in the sixth edition. Instead of 120 words, it should be 150 to 200 words. Uh, the abstract you'll be working on next week, but I uh, just so you know that the abstract should be approximately 150 to 200 words. Okay, then we have a new page that starts your thesis, starts the introduction to your thesis. Note that the method section does not have a page break, so it just uh, is a continuation of your document as it appears here. Same way with the results and discussion section. No page break is required, you just continue on with the document. Then the next page break will be for your references, and then you'll have another page break for Appendix A and Appendix B. Now notice here, for whatever reason, uh, we lost our spacing between each reference. So we're going to have to go back. In fact, the indentions are fine, but you'll have to go back and manually insert a space between each of your references. Okay? And so on. Uh, one last thing uh, is the heading. So in the header, I would copy Actually, I would cut this and insert it into your header, bring it all the way over to your left, and then add some spacing and insert a page number, and insert our running head. And then we can delete the spaces to bring this number up. And you probably want to delete one more space to allow for two digits for the numbers, for the page numbers and then add your title here. So after the, your title page, every subsequent page then will just have the heading. Okay, now the next thing we're gonna do is create sections so that we are able to change the page numbering. We can have a little bit more flexibility in the way that we number our pages. So let's, uh, let's begin by first selecting Mostrar todo. So we want to basically see the formats of our pages. Okay, so we can toggle back and forth between the regular view and uh, the formatting. <laughs> After our page break from our title page, we're going to insert a section break by selecting next page or página siguiente. And you'll notice here that uh, we have a section break. So now, if we go to our second page, our abstract page, we have this option here if we want the same as the previous header. And if we select or deselect, same as prior, you'll notice here now that we can change this heading without having to change the uh, first page. So we're going to get rid of running head. And you'll see that we that the first heading remains as it is, and this is what we want. So we want running head, the title, the first few words of your title, and you'll notice in the second heading now we have our title without the phrase running head, and we'll want to move over our 
uh, numbers over all the way to the right. Okay, now let's say we want to add a table of contents. And we will add the table of contents after the title page. Okay, so once we've created a blank page for our table of contents, we want to go through and change all of the headings to level 1 and level 2 using the format styles uh, in Word. So notice we have these formatting styles and we're going to use in this case title 1. So title 1 or heading 1 will be what we've referred to in class as a level 1 heading. So we'll simply click on that and you'll notice that the heading now is a title one and subsequent text will be uh, the normal text and this is what we want. So we're going to go through here and, and change all of the headings. This will be a title or a heading one. This will be a heading two. We're just going to go and include a level one and level two uh, headings uh, for a Word document for a table of contents. So. Again, don't worry about the level three heading. Remember that every um, level two heading should be left justified. So we'll want to go ahead and change and go through the entire document uh, to make these changes. Okay, so now that we've changed all of the headings to a level or a heading one or heading two using the style formatting in Microsoft Word, then we'll go back to our blank page. We'll select our formatting so we can see our formats. So I'm going to go to References, Table of Contents, and select one of these formats. I'm going to select the first one here. And now you have your table of contents. Now anytime you make any subsequent changes to your document, you will need to go back and update the table. So it will automatically update uh, the page numbering uh, once you have inserted this table as we've as I've instructed here. All right, so we're going to make one more change now uh, to the page number. Now, remember we created a section break, so we can make changes now to this first header without it not changing subsequent pages. Okay, so I've eliminated the page number for the title page, and I'm also going to eliminate the page number for table of contents. But in order to do that, we need to create another section break. So I'm going to go to the end of the page just under the table of contents and I'm going to go ahead and create another section break. I'm going to go up here to table of contents and take out this page number. So before I change this uh, heading before I eliminate the page number on the table of contents, I need to first go to the next page and deselect same as prior heading. And then I can go to this page and delete the page number. And 
Okay, and that's it. Now I'm going to now bring up the abstract. So the next page will be the abstract. Now in the abstract I want to use a different uh, numbering format. Instead of three, I want to use uh, lowercase Roman numerals. To change the format to lowercase Roman numerals, we're going to go in and right click on the number and we're going to edit and now we have our lowercase Roman numerals. We're going to eliminate some of the spacing here to bring it up on the same line. So the last thing we need to do is change uh, this page number from 4 uh, to page 1. So we want to begin our actual thesis uh, with page 1. So to do that we want to go into insert and page numbering we want to change the format to start with one. And that's it. And all subsequent pages now should begin uh, numbering from page one on to page two, etc. So now we have our title page with no page numbering, and we have our table of contents, and we have then our abstract, and then our page, then our thesis. So we've updated our table of contents. The only thing I did change uh, was I removed the heading here for abstract so it doesn't appear uh, in uh, the table of contents. So uh, the table of contents can just include uh, starting with the page, the first page number of your thesis and uh, the rest of the main sections as it appears here. Okay, so the last thing we need to do is change the title uh, to English. So we can just put our cursor over uh, the heading and make those changes. And that's it. So these are a few of the steps uh, that you can follow to uh, move your information from a wiki to Microsoft Word and uh, making sure that all the formats uh, adhere to APA as well as uh, following some of these tips that I've uh, suggested today for the heading. If you do have any questions, feel free to contact me and I look forward to seeing your final work.